Hello everyone and welcome to AfriTop. I'm Dana, your host, and today we have a special program as we celebrate the first Ethiopian Cup of Excellence winners. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more on this exciting event. <laughs> مبروك لنا بالفوز الكاسل تميز للقهوة الإثيوبية. As Ethiopia is 2020 Cup of Excellence winner, we have experienced the different tests of the bank office. Hello and welcome to AfriTop Updates for this week. I'm Hanan Ibrahim with the latest news.
In the local tourism news, February 6 marked the opening of the Cup of Excellence Center here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The Cup of Excellence Ethiopia Competition Center includes a warehouse and cupping lab in the Ethiopian capital city Addis Ababa. While the program there has involved an ongoing partnership between the Cup of Excellence organizer, the Alliance of Coffee Excellence, the Ethiopian Coffee and Tea Authority, and the USAID Feed the Future Ethiopia Value Chain Activity. The Alliance for Coffee Excellence has revealed that its first Cup of Excellence program in Ethiopia has received a record high number of 1,459 samples which was entered into the competition. The amount surpassed the previous Cup of Excellence record by more than 400 sample entries. The samples received at four collection centers in Jima, Hawasa, Dredawa and Addis Ababa. The national jury made up of Ethiopia's top coffee tasters have gone through several rounds of cupping over the past weeks to select the best 40 coffees out of these 150 consignments. These top 40 coffees will advance to the international jury for the final week of judging process from 7 to 10 April in Addis Ababa. The Cup of Excellence Ethiopia winning coffees have been made up for sale on the 28th of May via internet auction opened by Alliance of Coffee Excellence members. The official opening of the Cup of Excellence Competition Center in Addis Ababa was on the 6th of February, which was led by Umar Hussein, Ethiopia's Minister of Agriculture, and Dr. Adunya, which was announced by the Ethiopian Coffee and Tea Authority and Feed the Future Ethiopia Value Chain Activity. They have moved the highly anticipated Cup of Coffee Excellence Ethiopia 2020 National and International Week competitions to Portland, Oregon due to the COVID-19. Travel restrictions and lockdown following the breakout of COVID-19 has made it difficult for organizers in Ethiopia to carry on the competition as planned. The announcement came following the decision by the Cup of Excellence Steering Committee to hold the competition and the auction as scheduled without compromising the safety and health of the national and international jury and support staff. As a result, the Alliance of Coffee Excellence, an organization that owns the Cup of Excellence, has received samples of all coffee and facilitated the judging in its Portland facility from April 4 to the 9th. Dr. Adunya Debla, who is the Director of General of the Coffee and Tea Authorities, said the decision to change locations for the Ethiopian Cup of Excellence competition was difficult but in the best interest of the producers and participants. Cup of Excellence Ethiopia organizers and Alliance Cup of Excellence have worked in tandem to hold the vetting process with high quality and transparency. They said they would do everything they can to attract as many beaters so that the farmers get the highest price possible for their quality coffee. And those were the updates for this week on AfriTop. Stay tuned with the rest of our programs. It's lovely having you here with us again. Uh, so tell me a bit about Cup of Excellence. Uh, Cup of Excellence is its prestigious coffee competition. It is uh, it's a way of searching a best qual quality coffee in each in each uh, coffee producing countries. So when I, when we are talking about Cup of Excellence, it's related to specialty coffee, not commodity coffee. Speciality coffee, such kind of organization, Alliance for Coffee Excellence, which is uh, established uh, a couple of decades ago, is working to get a best coffee in each country. So, coffee after 1980s, it has already entered to a new way of uh, movement that is speciality coffee. So, when we are talking about speciality coffee and Ethiopian coffee, Ethiopian coffee can be 100% speciality coffee, except the, the defect in negligence and the lack of knowledge. So, uh, Cup, of Excellence, uh, Cup of Excellence can liberate Ethiopian coffee, I think. Uh, coffee should be liberated from commercialization. That's, that's, to, to me, it's, that's the bondage. Okay, so, now that you've uh, told me what Cup of Excellence is, what, what do you think you can tell me about the historical background? Of, uh, of it established uh, 20 years back in 1999. It started in Brazil 
uh, they are doing it in Brazil, they are doing it twice in a year, in another country, uh, uh, once in a year. So uh, around 11 countries have participated in this uh, uh, competition. So Ethiopia, for the first time, we are uh, undertaking this year, in, 19, uh, in 2019. So uh, it's a prestigious uh, coffee competition. Uh, so w when we talk about uh, the competition, uh, we, can, we can understand that how, how many farmers are participating in, su in such kind of competition. In Ethiopia, they have participated around 1,462. This is a record. Yeah, what's the highest number was in Colombia, the Ethiopian one exceeds by 300 uh, competitors, so it's the highest. Even in the auction, the buyers are competing and registering for the auction. Uh, we have got around 168 buyers from 33 countries, so that's, that's the biggest number and it's record, and we're expecting the record high price too. So, for example, also, can you tell me, like, how did the Cup of Excellence come over here to Ethiopia? How, how did we get here? Oh, Ethiopian Coffee Exporters Association has, uh, has took its initiative and contacted Alliance for Coffee Excellence and brought it here. Mm -hmm. But we have accomplished it with the help of, with the support of USID, uh, Feed the Future, uh, Ethiopian Coffee and the Authority. All stakeholders are participated in this uh, uh, in this, in this uh, competition. So the awareness program which we have undertaken in the regions and everything is uh, led by the steering committee which every stakeholder has participated. And even the regional states has participated in awareness program and that was very good because in Ethiopian coffee value chain the role of the government, the federal government and the regional government is very important issue. They have to make it smooth and coffee should go from farmer to the, the, the final consumer smoothly. That's the point I want to mention. That's very interesting. So what about the benefits? What do you think will, would be the benefit that we'll be getting out uh, out of this being as a current hosting country of the Cup of Excellence? What do you think is the benefit? The benefits are related to uh, promotion. After all, for the last 20, 30 years, more than 50 years, Ethiopia was promoting Ethiopian coffee at the international market. But this one, the Cup of Excellence promotion, is a unique one and it, it, it will surely create a very unique result. So the, the benefit is its promotion. So uh, the country can benefit from this auction as, as, as an income. If you, if you take a Brazilian example, they have got around $5 million per year for the one who is undertaking the auction. Uh, the linkage, the auction, the direct market linkage, it fetched around $116 million. Technoserve has made an assessment, impact assessment on the Brazilian uh, Cup of Excellence competition. So they have got $116 million uh, impact, an increase uh, what, uh, from what was before. So it has a very big impact. When, when we are talking such kind of auction, uh, what, what kind of price we're going to get, it's really amazing. Uh, we might get even, I don't know, $1,000 per cage, things like that. So that's a, lot. that's a lot of money, yeah. The, the farmers, the producer will link with the buyers, direct buyers. So that kind of, even it shortens the value chain, the one who is looking for a best coffee can get directly from the farmer. And the, our overall Ethiopian coffee would be promoted because it's, it's interlinked. So uh, it has a lot of, a lot of uh, benefit for the country, for the farmer, for the, for the whole stakeholders. So Ethiopia will, be, will finally get the exposure that it deserves in regards to the coffee and the agro industry? Of course, of course. They have already surprised because uh, what they got, the result, and uh, it, it is already known the best coffee is found here in Ethiopia. The buyers, the consumers, especially uh, the coffee professionals, know it where the, where the best coffee is found. But we have never made such kind of competition. This year they're going to get it. And so to me, it's, it's a unique experience and we're going to enjoy that uh, benefit. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. With more than a 20-year history and annual competitions throughout Latin America and Africa, this is the first time the Cup of Excellence is being conducted in Ethiopia, Arabica's coffee's genetic birthplace and a coffee country prized by buyers for its remarkable coffee diversity and quality. And so, today we celebrate Ethiopia. 
ኢትዮጵያ የ2020 ካፕ ኦፍ ኤክሰለንስ አሸናፊ ሆናለች ማብሩክ ለና ቢልፎዘል ካስል ተመዩዝ ለልቃሁተ ለኢትዮጵያ Again on a final note on behalf of our team we would like to congratulate our country's golden bean having won the first cup of excellence internationally and many more awards to enhance our flying colors goodbye everyone have a lovely week see you next time and remember stay safe <laughs>